Hey, fans of farm life. Uh, I'm going to be upgrading. I'm going to be actually making a new uh, solar generator. That's the case for it. That's all the stuff, stuff for it. That'll be another video. But I need these two batteries right here for that. And I bought a new battery, a bigger one, that I'll be installing in here. But I wanted to get a little video of this because i got to move a bunch of stuff around. Got to move this uh, um, controller. I'm going to move this um, inverter. I'm going to put that up here somewhere. Move this up a little bit. Because uh, that other battery, it's a 290 amp hour battery. Um, it probably goes out to about right here. So this whole length. Uh, and uh so i gotta do some moving around just want to get a video going um and then uh, we'll, we'll come back all righty fans farm okay so what i've uh, swapped out the two uh eco worthy batteries for this chins 290 amp hour uh battery uh the reason that i got this one one it was on sale uh, two, they have great customer service, and uh, three, it's self-heating. So in the winter time, that was my issue. Sometimes we get down to like 20 degrees, even though my other batteries did charge below 32. Um, this has a, a self-heating ability, and it's also a smart battery. Uh, I have an app to uh, that you can check everything turn things on turn things off set parameters stuff like that so um and it's 290 amp hours but i only had 200 amp hours in here before and in the winter time in washington we could go four or five days without any sun so uh and I, we had chickens out here that we were uh, had heaters on and so the batteries would run down so anyway i'm hoping that an extra 100 amp hours uh will get us through that five days of no sun so anyway uh come back a little bit uh all righty so i went ahead and moved this from down here up onto the, the wall uh just there's just no room i mean with the wires snow room so moved it up there uh plus um it was getting kind of because this there's a this piece right here yeah this piece right here goes this is the, the enclosure right here i just took it off so easy to get this battery in um and then this is the lid right here this piece here goes on top right here so anyway um it was getting kind of hot in here um i even put a little hole and put a fan on there to try to cool it down so and this was getting kind of warm so hopefully out here in the it'll be a little bit cooler i mean it gets hot in here i've got an exhaust fan to try to cool it but it gets hot enough that this controller the fans in here go off so um Anyway, uh, I didn't really have a choice. I couldn't fit the inverter in with the battery. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna hung there. I gotta go get some new wires. This one just doesn't fit. Uh, positive does. I think the positive will work. Um, and then I gotta shorten this one, and I gotta make a longer one of these. So, uh, anyway. So I'm going to go work on some wires, and I'll come back. So this is where I got this set up. I moved this up a little bit. It was sitting down here. I moved that up. This was down. I moved that up. Move this up. Move this up. Probably should look through the viewfinder. Move this up. Move that up. Move this. Um, so I'll get that connected, get the battery connected, get it charged up. Full, I mean, I fully charge it with a charger. Uh, when this battery came to me, my voltmeter was reading 17 to 18 volts. Um, so 
so I contacted the company. That's why I say good customer service. They uh, were going to send me a whole new battery. Um, but I looked at the app, and the app said it was at 13.2 volts. So I put a charger on it, charged it up to 14.1. I think now it's sitting at 13.7. So I'll get it on here. It's going to be a nice sunny day. So hopefully I can get it hooked up in an hour or so. We'll get a lot of sun. And uh, we'll see how it charges up. And um, then we'll go from there. But uh, if it doesn't work, I mean, they're... They're willing to send me one just by looking at my meter. So if it doesn't work, they'll just send me another one. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll come back. Okay, I got uh, got my negative hooked up, got my positive hooked up, re-ran my wire, um, ran it down into the switch, down into here, I got switches off. Ran my new negative from here, I uh, got that all tightened up. This one fit, got that tightened up. Now, I don't know if this is gonna spark, honestly, because I have the battery turned off. I've done this before where it didn't spark, but we'll find out. Nope, didn't, okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this plugged in here. I think it's a little overkill with the uh, lock washer because it's got a lock nut on it. And I'm going to have to set the battery monitor because right now it's set for a max of 200 amp hours. Where this is going to be 290. And I don't know if I can even set 290. I think it's going to set at 300. Okay. There's that all set up. Uh, the let me hook these uh, solar panels back together. They both turned off. That's off. That's off. So I'm going to go ahead and hook these solar panels back up, and then we'll come back up and turn everything on. All right, solar panels are hooked back up. They're still turned off. I'm going to turn this on. See what happens here. Yeah, that's turned on. says it's at 180 says 13.4 volts uh, let me get my app out and we'll see what that actually says so this comes with this uh, battery app you connect it to it now this says battery is sitting at 13 point thing you see that 13.46 volts and uh, that's saying 13.4. Now this says 100%, that says 93, but I have to readjust that anyway. So it's probably going to be way off. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the solar panels on and see what we got going here. So this goes to this charge controller. Bring that one online. Okay. And this one's saying 13.6 volts. Uh, 155 watts coming in on that one. Let's turn this one on. That's saying 13.6 volts, 13.8. And then this one is saying, bringing in, uh, missed it, let's go back here. anything right now so this is a little surprising to me uh, so anyway I'm gonna have to work on that because it says it's 13.9 volts and 14 amps so it should be bringing in quite a bit anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mess with this uh, voltmeter see if I can't get that thing uh, switched around or, and uh, then we'll go from there all right uh, farm life out 
Okay. It took me a little bit to remember how to do this, but uh, it's reading 14.3 volts. Um, everything seems to say that. That says 14.3. This one says 14.4. Let me roll it around again. 14.4. So, and then I got a little voltmeter on this thing. That says 14.3, so that should be full. The app said it was full, so I think we're gonna go with that. Let's see if I can pull this back up again. Yeah, the app says 100%. So, uh, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. We got this connected. I still gotta get the uh, inverter turned back on and plugged back in so I can get this exhaust fan going. We'll see what that does. Um, yeah, it looks like it's a successful setup. I just got to put this piece back in and, um, and well, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Let's see what we got to go and we'll do a wonderful final wrap up on this uh, when I get done with everything and put back together. Alrighty, that's a wrap on this battery replacement. I got the side back on here. I uh, got a little fan I put in here. Um, it's a little 12 volt fan. Just kind of stuck it in there. I don't know if you can see in there. Anyway, it's right here. Blowing air out. Trying to cool this down in here. Uh, I'm going to have to put a switch on it because right now it's just it's going to run all the time. So, uh, which isn't too bad in the summertime, but it's in it's like I don't know point one amp or something like that. So it's not a draw. Uh, I also um, bought for this uh, new solar generator uh, build I'm doing. I'm actually going to use this one in the, in the build. So uh, I bought a 40 amp one. I'm going to put here and use this one. So I'll swap that out later. But uh, for now, um, we'll see how this Chin's battery works. Right now, it's well. I made it 100% because it was 14.2, but. 14.3 and that's what it basically is full at so anyway uh, it's a wrap on this battery replacement I uh, moved the inverter up here was down there I replaced the uh, plug board I didn't have a long enough cord to go up to here uh, I've got some of these cable uh, clamps but I the life me can't find them so once I do I'll put that in there hold that back uh, and then I've got to, uh, put this one up here too. I gotta get that fixed when I get behind those clamps. And I also want to put in a, uh, I'm going to put a meter in here in between this connection right here, this connection so that I can, uh, see what the solar panels are doing. Um, this, this will tell you basically how much it, like right here. Um, saying 41 volts to the panels, 2.2 amps, but I don't see any uh, kilowatts because uh, I think this is over time right there. I'm not sure what's going on there, um, but when I look at my app for that, it does show that stuff's coming in, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, everything's connected. Everything's turned on, so uh, we'll see tonight, see if tomorrow when it does the daily on it. But anyway, uh, this is a wrap, and uh, we'll go to the uh, solar generator build next time. Farm life out.